I'm gonna do a little garden walk through. This currently August the 11th. Has been roughly 95 to 100 degrees every day for the last week or so. So we got some squash and some zucchini here. We're just trying to go in ground some areas to see what we can do. Look at this peppers. They've obviously this plant would have gotten much bigger, but with the amount of peppers I've gotten off this thing, I really don't need it to be any more than that. This is a ghost pepper. It was a tiny little ghost pepper plant. Looks really good now. It's got a bunch of flowers. But what I really want to show is this cayenne plant. Just crazy. The amount of peppers we've got off of this. And they just thrive in the super hot weather. Got our rose bushes that we've trimmed back. They were getting a little crazy. These are where our fall tomatoes, our dwarf tomato projects. Looking so good. That's what I love about dwarf tomato project radies is they're so thick and dark green. Looking really good. They're really surprising me in this heat too. But the fact that they are stout is probably helping. <clears throat> so I have went ahead and started some of our fall crops over here. Maybe a couple weeks early, but I got plenty of seed. So I'd rather try to get lucky a couple weeks ahead of time than uh, just not try at all. So we got our Brussels sprouts, our cauliflower, our cabbage, more cabbage because we like the leaves even, uh, broccoli. These are all collards on this end. This is all going to be rows of lettuce, which is too hot for that for sure. And of course we're going to put some spinach in everywhere that we can. This is all carrots. We're trying carrots in a pot this time because it's deep. And we want them to grow down and get as big as they can. Look at that basil. 100 degrees outside. Basil just, just killing it, man. I've got some kale started back here. Like I said, we still have spinach. We still have lettuce. And a couple other things. So I still got some room here. Still have that whole back bed over there. We pulled all our sweet potatoes and we threw them in our compost pile here. And as you can see, they're growing. So we're not gonna mess with this. I'm gonna wait a few months, whenever till whenever, and uh, just gonna move this stuff and who knows? May have some sweet potatoes in there. The last two remaining pepper plants in this bed they've looked better but I mean look at the size of the jalapenos now it's loaded probably gonna make some more sauce or, or pickle some of these these are all beans we're hoping these will just make it through yeah, we love beans and you can grow a bunch of them right next to each other. And of course all the trees here. Look at that one, it's just growing crazy. Figs. Big old fig right here. But he's not really drooping. Apparently once they're ready they'll droop. This will kind of just, it'll just hang down. But just want to kind of give an update on some stuff. Lemons getting big. Kind of look like they're wanting to turn yellow a little bit. I know they ain't big enough. But really excited about those. Our mulberry, which is 
it's supposed to be a dwarf. I mean, that still may be dwarf, I'm not sure. But that's pretty huge. Of course, our lime. We're a little smaller than we were before because we took out some of these beds over here to get these trees some more sun. But we plan to add more beds, but we also plan to move and buy our own property and start our forever garden, hopefully.